Studio One Vintage Guitars, New Zealand's home of vintage guitars. My name is Nick Brightwell. Today we are looking at a 1967 D28. So that means we've got the South American Goliath, the Brazilian Rosewood, the most sought after of the Rosewoods. Uh, Martin made a lot of their guitars for a long time out of this type of wood. In the late 60s, it was protected. They didn't want to chop them down anymore because they're very nice trees and we could chop down too many of them. So Martin basically had a kind of like run out sale and by the end of the 60s they had depleted all of their kind of low hanging Brazilian fruit. And nowadays if you want to get yourself a Brazilian Martin guitar, just, you know, think about 30 grand US, maybe 50 grand US just for the option alone. So that's not for the whole guitar, that's just for this wood. It's not even the top or all the rest of the bits and pieces. So. This is a very, very, very good guitar for the price. So let's just go over the details. So if you're not, not uh, kind of aware of the story with the Martin D28, in kind of like the mid 40s, uh, as World War II kind of pressed on, uh, Martin and the other guitar companies, ex, ex, uh, what the, what's the word I'm looking for? They exhausted their supply of Adirondack spruce. They basically went out into the woods one day and it's all gone and they couldn't um, get any more, so they had to move to Sitka Spruce, and uh, Sitka Spruce has kind of been the mainstay since then. There's a lot of talk about the different characteristics of the wood, uh, but you may see that a lot of companies and stores just refer to it as spruce. That's because I've found, now that I'm starting to play, you know, kind of hundreds of, of guitars using Adirondack and uh, Sitka Spruce, I find that sometimes the difference between them is blurred and a great piece of Sitka sound, can sound as good as a great piece of Adirondack and a great piece of Adirondack can sound absolutely phenomenal as well. So first of all let's just look at kind of the finer details of this instrument. So we've got Brazilian rosewood back and sides, Sitka spruce top, we don't have a herringbone outline, that, that's why they kind of herringbone guitars are a little bit more desirable nowadays because they see this binding as not as good. Um, my opinion is, is I played a few of these 60s one and I find that the the binding is maybe not as intrusive on the top or maybe gives it a little bit more uh, given away. So the out of the five of these kind of guitars I play they've all had great overtones. Uh, we had a very special one in here a while ago called Irene and um, yeah absolutely amazing guitar. This guitar itself is in great condition. Uh, first of all I just the back and sides look really good, but let's just look at the side figuring. This is something I haven't seen on any of our 60s Martins. Um, I think some people might look at these and go, they're imperfections. I'm just going to give you this angle and see if you can see how cool those shoulders are, the bookmatch shoulders. Um, the only time I've seen figuring like this is actually on the kind of the 1910s, 1920s Martins. And so Martin at times picked this type of figuring on the sides as their go-to. Um, this also has a beautiful example of these kind of like black lines that you get in uh, Brazilian Rosewood, you can see sometimes. Um, so this guitar is, the one odd thing I, I like uh, to, to hit up whoever did, had this guitar beforehand is this strap button. You don't often see strap buttons here. Um, you normally see them on the heel, but I can understand not putting it on the heel kind of you know reduces the risk of it cracking. Um, so here is a different spot and it's actually quite comfortable with a strap on. We have the original tuners, that's the, um, the kind of the larger Grover style and they are very, very good. Um, I was going to play the guitar a little bit and make it sound good. So, so you can hear, uh, we've kind of warmed them up just in the last hour or so. Meaning, I've just played them a little bit, put some course through them. Just how full does that sound? How beautiful does that sound? We'll put a bit of John through it. John. We 
Yeah, so this guitar is just so balanced. Uh, we have another Brazilian 67, um, you can look that up, but I'll kind of explain to you what I find that comes off the Brazilian guitars. The Brazilian rosewood seems to be a bit denser than East Indian, so you get a lot of wraparound sound, you know, the sound coming off the back and sides, but you get more going that way. And it also gives you a lot more kind of uh, low, uh, it's denser, so it gives you more response in the highs. Now obviously the top is what gives you a lot of sound, but remember the top is also vibrating the back and sides, and what that means, I find the notes just on, on the high strings just seem to jump out more on the Brazilian Rosewood guitar. Now I'm just going to quickly go over just the kind of wear and tear on this, because this one has a little bit going on, so we've got kind of like a some kind of scrape that's happened here you know something's gone dong <laughs> and given a little bit of a hard time and that kind of got a little bit deep there but you could have that um, fixed a bit of finish we've just got another ding here we have a little bit of chip off the um, binding just here that's about a uh, half of an inch but it's very minimal uh, other than that we just have like a few kind of little we have like a bit of you know, uh, thigh rash here, and just a little bit of a scratch there. And that's just got a little, it's a little bit deeper than, than normal. But no cracks, no inconsistencies in the top. It's just, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. So, and it's just sounding so open. setup like it's not really buzzing out but it seems to be just a little bit low so sometimes when I play something just a little too hard it just buzzes just a touch it's, but it's it's so minor it's almost like this guitar is just set up perfectly for finger picking you know not really hitting the heart of the strumming hand so you can So, once again, this is a 67D28 with Brazilian rosewood back and sides. We have two of these in stock, and they are going to go really quickly. We haven't put these videos uh, up, you know, any sooner because we wanted them to hang around for a little bit and get the non-internet people in first, but if you like this guitar, get in quick because they probably won't be here <laughs> if this video makes it online. We'll just see how we get on. So, once again, my name's Nick Brightwell. We've got Josh behind the camera and Garrick's out looking for guitars. Um, looking for more great guitars. Um, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and share. We have a lot of new format coming up for you, more stuff. We're going to have other New Zealand artists coming in. I'm going to start doing some different segments. We're going to do a little bit of teaching stuff. We may even get to some solo performances playing all these guitars, playing certain songs. 
So if there's any of these songs that I've been playing uh, today or in the past, um, the ones that you kind of hear frequently, if there's anyone that you like, just let us know below and I'll start um, putting together one for a video. Um, but once again, yeah, have yourself a good time. We'll see you next time. Cheers.